So nice. when uko, uko Kenya lakini. Yeah. And then you traveled to was it tell, tell us your story. I, I I don't know how it started. Just walk us through your story. Well, yango if I start from any nyanzi kitambo it's a long story. Uh-huh. It's it's not easy, it's painful. Yeah. Uh, I've gone through a lot. Yeah. So I I lost my mom when I was a kid. I don't even know her. Mm -hmm. So I grew up with my dad. And life wasn't easy at all. Yeah. So 2014, Nika, Nika enda Saudi Arabia. 2014, Nika enda Saudi. Yes. Uh-huh. Which utterly happened. I don't even, I cannot even explain how it happened. It was so fast. We like happened to go to Saudi Arabia. It was like a joke. Would you like to go to Saudi Arabia? That was the first time I heard about Saudi Arabia. Yeah. So, Ila told me, yes, I would like. So, the same day, Nika Pewa number. The same day, I said yes, Nika Pewa number, and I called the number. Nika Mbua, we meet the following day at Odeon Cinema. I went to Odeon Cinema the following day. And that was it. Nika Mbua, I let the idea of a bank. I called my dad the same day and he told me his ID kwa, kwa email. Mm -hmm. Within two days, my master was ready. The fourth day, I was to apply a passport. You know, within two weeks, I had everything handy with the Akwenda Samarib. Within two weeks, ulikuwa na kila kitu, a passport, yes. and the visa to go to Saudi. Yes. Okay. So, I left. I left my son for three years. Your son was three years? Yes. Uh-huh. Wanasema kuna echo, sijui kwa nini. Are you using, uh, unatumia uh, headphones, speaker, headphones? No, no, no. no, no. Is, your, is your phone on speakerphone? Yeah. Ebu to a speaker phone? Mm, no. I don't know. Wanasema kuna echo. Guys, wanasema kuna echo. Weiri muaki. Okay. Huh. Mm, I don't know how to remove the Ama, echo. Ama, headphones. Do you have headphones? No, no. Auna headphones? Yeah. Oh, she's, um, ikona echo. Sasa sijui tutafanya nini. I, I don't know what we are going to do because I really wanted people to listen to your story. I can hear you very well. Na, I can hear you, you, but I'm going to ask you about the echo. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's going on, guys. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I'm a eh? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. When I kuna echo, kuna echo side yake. Ebu jaribu kutoka alafu urudi tena. Okay. Jaribu kutoka alafu urudi tena. Let me get you out. Okay, she's out. You know what, guys, I really, I, I'm just praying to God that this, this story is going to come out here today. It's, it's, I don't want to narrate it because it's crazy. I've never had anything like that, guys. I've never had anything like that in my life. Yeah. So I'm hoping that we will be able to get this girl to narrate her story because it's painful, it's it's sad. <sighs> it's a combination of crazy. If you know, if crazy has a, a, a name to it, eh, a face. Hmm? Come a crazy has a face to it. This is what you call crazy. I've, I don't know, guys. I really want you to hear this story. If it's not going to work with her, I'm going to have to, I don't know, figure out how to explain this thing. But I wanted this story out here. Ah, come on. Let's see if it's going to... Ah, ah, ah. Ajaingia. Please, guest in here, Tena. Sikuoni? Simuoni? Atoe loudspeaker. Yeah, that's what I told her. Toa loudspeaker guest. 
toa loudspeaker let's see if we'll get her in again i cannot even see her eh kuna watu wengi wa request ku join ni broadcast but ah wote ni nini guest toa loudspeaker ukiingia because I, I can hear her very well. I can hear her very, very, very well. This is crazy, guys. Ah, uh, I don't know why she's not coming in. Guests, Sikuoni. Yeah, Sioni, who you guessed, Tata. I don't see the guest at all. Yeah, guys, guys, uh, yeah, guesting here, Haraka, ndiyo tumaliza hii story chukiedanga. It's it's a it's a story. <laughs> Guys. Eh, akuna echo. Akuna echo ju hayuko. Let's add her again. So we are adding her again and I hope this time it's going to be good. I don't know what to do if it's not good. She doesn't have headphones. Na yeah, tunataka kusikia hii maneno cuz hii maneno ni nyingine yani sikia story. Okay, come on in. Hi. Hi. Guys, okay, Ebu and Elea, Alafu. So I left I left my kid with uh at a I don't know what to call her. She was one of those who were in Walini Walini joined. I met your during Yaku process papers because I didn't have anyone to leave my kid with. Okay, hold on, guys. Can you hear an echo? Ah, uh, can you guys hear Akosawa? Akosawa. Somebody saying Akosawa will just believe in that one. Twendele. Alafu. So you left your child with somebody. Yeah, not wow. even a relative. It was not a relative. It was just a friend. Not even a friend. Mm. Oh, when yeah. oh, my brother. Because I didn't have anybody to watch him toto. Who kwa nam to watch him toto? Yeah. Uh huh. So she, she alikuwa ameni plan ya if I go there I'll be working for her as in all the money nitakuwa nikimtumia Wait 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 hold on Sasa umeachia mtu mtoto Ah uh, na amekuambia that in order for me to stay with your baby you're going to go to Saudi but all the money you're making in Saudi you're going to give it to me no, she did not tell me that. In the ah. arrangement, the person I look for me for here. At your me for how how I'll be sending money. Oh, how... so when the story is Pesazako, how you'll be sending the money? Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. And we learn it here, and I mean, I didn't have even those. Uh, Mm, is it a Iso, iso makata tasi watu pewa. Is it my contract? Okay. Yeah. How old were you? How old were you in 2014? I was 25. Or oh, 25. Okay. So I didn't have those papers. Nilipua na watu na watu. Okay. So when I went to there, the Marabu was here in Kenya. That is why Kila Kituili Arakishwa, that Marabu was here in Kenya. Ule Marabu you are going to work for was already in Kenya. Yeah, that's why everything was processed at Arakaraka. Uh-huh. So I went to Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. I know you friends are saying there is echo, but there is nothing I can do. When you are taskia, you are taskia, when you are I'll keep repeating what she's saying so that people can hear it. So if you guys can just let her talk through the echo and then I repeat what she's saying, mtashika hii maneno. Aha. So tukajipata we are eight of us. So you are eight of you now heading to Saudi. No, eight and one and one huyo mwarabu. Oh, so you are eight of you working for this mwarabu. We were not going to work for him. He was going to sell us. Wait a minute. You are going to be sold. These eight people are going to be sold by this Mwarabu guy. Okay. Yeah, but we went under his name. All eight of us. All of you went under him. Yeah. Okay. So, when I was there, I was like, I'm going to write. And he used to say, That's why he used to talk to the little Swahili. So, 
So alikuwa anasema wewe ndio umechanuka kuliko hawa wengine. Yaani you're brighter than everybody else. Out yeah, of the yeah, yeah. He sold the rest. He sold the rest and kept you. Yeah. Okay. So oh. alikuwa anani haya. Aha. Uh -huh. Anani haya I go I work for somebody for one month and I pay 3500 girls and I deliver 1000. So wewe alikuwa amekuhaya and then sends you to go and work for somebody for like a month and alipa 3500 lakini anaeka 2500 ana kuachia 1k. Yeah. Na hiyo ni pesa ya ya Waarabu huko ya Saudi. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ata, uh, the issue was not even working. Mi hata sijai kuwa na shida huko Saudi Arabia. Mhm. Mm Siku hai kuwa na any shida because I can adjust myself easily in any saka, yani any situation I know how to adjust myself. Mm -hmm. So the problem was back here home. The problem was at home not even with the Arab himself. No 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 no. Uko hata lakini hiyo uko si hata siwezi sema ati I complain ati ni sema niliteseka ama nilifanya nini. No. The pain came back, was from here. The pain was from home. Muna ne mura igua. Ado ne mura chigua. Nini watu anini azimio? Azio azimio. Wapendwa. This mama is saying. This young lady is saying. Amenda. Uh, Amenda. Now we are in Saudi. Sasa tu mengi Saudi. Eh? Eight girls when you walikuwa me travel na e wakauzwa na this Arab. But the Arab kept her because e alionekana amechanuka. So. He started sending her to jobs here and there. Alikuwa nalipua 3,500. He keeps the 2,500 and gives her 1,000. Uh, Saudi, whatever they call them. Now, this mama is saying the problem was not even the job or the Arab. I, I have nothing bad to say about Saudi, my Saudi experience. The problem was at home. Haya, sasa tuambia, what was the problem? So, how to get my son from the woman I left with? Why did you want to take your son away from the woman you left with? Because uh, when I went there, I will be paid 60,000. And how I'll be sending my money, upkeep yam toto, and all that. So, the lady had lied to you that you'll be paid 60,000 by the Arab. Na alikuwa mekupangia vile utakuwa kituma pesa uh, for the yeah. maintenance and the upkeep of the child. Now, how much yeah. is 1,000 uh, shilling? Uh, 1,000, what do you call that? How much is it equivalent yeah. to Kenyan money? Rials. Yeah. yeah, how much is it kwa pesa ya Kenya? By then it was 22,000. Or oh, 22,000. Na huyu mama yes. alikuwa mekuambia utalipua 60k na umeenda huko ukakuta mambo ni different kwa ground yes yes Asa. haya so my struggle started there aha uh -huh. lazima ningetoa mtoto wangu huko because i hata ningetuma hiyo 20000 ingekuwa enough so lazima ulikuwa unatafuta njia kutoa mtoto because hata ukituma hiyo 20k na unalipwa 22 is not enough so you are trying to get the child away from her yeah uh -huh. So, oh. nikatuma, yani, nikatuma my brother, that was the first time I talked to my brother, I sent him there. Mm -hmm. But first, mtoto wakakatalia na mtoto, we had to struggle, paka tuka, mm -hmm. tuka pata mtoto, say, waka tupatia mtoto. Oh, finally, you got the baby. Ulikuwa umetuma brother, kukwansa, uh, ilikuwa ningumu, there was a, a struggle, but eventually you got the baby from the woman. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So my problem has been at home since then. I was in Ukipeleke. I'm too total. They use they use the kid when I put a pesa, as in they the, just like the woman what she did to me. She was using my baby to to put a pesa from me. And that's what happens to a lot of my sisters in in Saudi, and especially in Saudi, is that they leave Kenya when I end up Gulf when I see our total relatives or friends. And then when I to me a kama ni cash cow, eh? Mwana ni awari ya muno, eh? Mwana suju nini? Wana itisha pesa. Pesa, it, the money, you know what? I don't know what's the issue with Saudi money because pesa ya Saudi is never enough. No matter how much you send, 
They just want money and money and money and money and money. Sasa, that was your situation. Uh -huh. Okay. Sasa, ilifika mahali, I've fallen mm. out with everyone. So, you fell out with everyone in Kenya that you knew? Yes. Sasa, family members have fallen out with my father. Uyu anakana mtoto after some time anaanza kutumia mtoto. The other person anaanza kutumia mtoto. Even to a point of, I'm stealing my child from home. Na muiba, na tafuta watu na walipa ice waibe mtoto. Wow. So you, you eventually fell out with family members, friends, uh, just because of the baby? Yeah. Uh -huh. And changing it from one school to another. As in, in that, in that one, we have fallen out with this person. I take him to another person. I have one struggle. All the time, I'm struggling with family members. Now, all the time, we have to pressure. You know, we have to pull up, but because you want to be there for your child, as in, come on, Zazi, you know the pain of growing up without a child, without a mother. So, you, I was trying everything, everything possible. Kunini. To, to get my son a good life because I want to work, I want to save, I want to do everything for my son, I want to be there for my son. So you guys are hearing that she, she had to move the child from one person to another and every time she moved the child, Anambadilisha Shule. On top of that, this mother is, was doing everything that she could for her child because she doesn't have her own parents, so she's investing her life for her own child. But she get she got financially abused everywhere. Na peleka mtoto anataka pesa. So and then what? So ikafika mahali. Uh, I was alone. I did not know what to do. I mm -hmm. met this person. Uh, I met uh, then mtoto, by that time ni kwa ni meiba mtoto home from my dad from juba bangu ni mlevi and used to go with the kid ni mtoto anenda nae kwa club every time as in no, anenda na is a boy or a girl is a boy okay so babako eventually the baby landed with your father your father is an alcoholic na alikuwa anapeleka mtoto mbaya kwa club akakunywa na yeye yeah and using na kutumia mtoto Yes, well, uh, well, the mm -hmm. but they were sold. Babako akauza iyo material. Everything. Mm -hmm. And I was left broken because I had sacrificed to buy material. Ni memuaga mawe, ni memuaga chuna, ni memuaga cement. I want to, I want to build a home. So at that time, when everything was sold and I was so broken, I was so I was I was so broken, I was I was so broken, I was so broken, I was so broken, I was so I was so broken, 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 I was but the father would sell the, the material and end up kukunyu all the time and atuma cement, ma mchanga, na mawe, na kila kitu, lakini wapi. Anatumia uh, baba yake, baba yake, na, anaenda, anauza, na kunyu wa pombe. Uh -huh. So, nika, nika iba mtoto. We planned with my niece to kaiba mtoto because he was at the same time using mtoto wangu. Yani he was using the mtoto. So nika iba mtoto, nika mpatia another cousin now. So and at, when you say that he was using the child, meaning how? What's financially? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Alikuwa na ita mtoto wangu ATM. Well, he used to call mtoto wangu ATM. Alikuwa na ita mtoto wako ATM, baba yako. Wait, is yes. this your real father mwenye alikuza ama ni niki mtu tu kwa kwa barabara? It's my father. My father the one I've known ever since I was a kid. Oh my God. Alikuwa me, ame nickname mtoto wako ATM. Yeah, they were calling mtoto ATM. Oh my God. Um, so, Nick to kaiba mtoto with my niece to kaiba mtoto and I brought him to another pastor cousin who is in Nairobi. So you sent the child and brought him to a cousin who is a pastor in Nairobi. Uh, do you yeah. mind mentioning the name? I'm a, you don't have to. No. Okay. No, I don't want to. Okay, to no problem. Her. 
Mm-hmm. So, tukanikaleta mtoto Nairobi and we were good. At that time I was so broken, I was so hurt. Eh, hata sikukuwa najua. Yaani eh, yaani ilikuwa tu I'm just there for for my son. I'm not there for yaani siku hata siezi sema because you know na kama ni hiyo pesa I had tried to invest na kujenga sasa sina pesa ime imekunywa yote materials zimeuzwa kila kitu imeuzwa i am back to zero yeah mm-hmm. so i had tena kuanza tena then i met a, a person akanitume two friend request huyo ndo most of the huyo ndo the huyo uh, ndo ameniko so much pain so I now you put a friend request on facebook yes and that's that time ako na kazi, mm-hmm. kazi ni pastor ako na kazi mwenye ni pastor yes Okay and then now you receive a friend request from Facebook. Um, yeah. This uh-huh. this person is not a uh, seem to dogo it's an old person. See at it to about a to young person. This is an old man who be friended me on Facebook. Do you want to say his name you don't have to. Yes, I will. Uh-huh. Kwa Facebook anajiita Christopher Chris Leken Kamonjo. At Chris who? Chris Leken Kamonjo. Chris Le- Lenken Kamotho. Kamonjo. Kamonjo. Yes. Wasem to have kutuma salamu kwa Chris Lenken Kamonjo. That's the guy now who is the the meat of the matter. <laughs> So at that time sasa unaona I am broken I don't know where to start I don't know where to yani I was just looking for someone who could believe me and not looking I was desperate at that time I was desperate mimi sikukuwa najua who I can do sasa I fall in love with everyone hata wenye nimepatia mtoto I knew it was just a matter of time and they what an ifanya hivyo because I was yani I was used to Kuna. Yeah you are expecting to be used by the person who had the child. Guys when you now Lisa anaitwa Chris Lenken Kamonjo. So you can type the name there ndio ikiwezekana watu watume salamu huko. Uh-huh. So this uh, tukaanza kuongea tukaanza kuongea nikamwambia about what I was going through how broken I am what people have done to me how people how relatives have used me and he was like you don't have to worry I'll help you in case of anything na mtoto wako Sasa this Chris Lenken Kamonjo offered his support because you, you poured out his heart umemwambia vile umetumwa na my relatives and yes. he says hey listen i am the answer to your problems uh you know what am i healthy with your son with, with your child yes uh, and in, in case of anything you, i'll help you yani in I'll, case of I'll help you and yeah, somebody case, you don't know you have never met yes i've never met in person yani it took while we were talking ile kuongea tunaongea yani it took some time so i introduce him to the to the guardian of my son then that my cousin then Mhm. And he could check on them something sasingine who could bump on them wakitoka church and anambia I've met your son today and all that he could sometimes update me. Yeah, he could update you. He could update you. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, I kwa hivyo the updating he's telling me I met your son today and all this sometimes he could even send me pictures bila me bump on them and just like that. Now and then you are, start to trust him because hey he's giving you information about how your son is doing my son is doing uh-huh. now after some time him and my cousin wakaanza kuniambia it's time you forget what you've been doing to be trying to do to your father to your family it's time you build yourself yeah wakasema now it's time to build yourself yes and they'll help me build myself they'll help you uh huh they help me they him and my cousin they help me build myself right so ni wakani ambao kanza kunitumia messages how I'll get a plot hizo za kunifanya nini noel piece of land now this cousin guys don't forget ni pasi ni pasta ni pasta uh-huh sasa wakaanza ku kuorganize ya vile utapata a plot yeah how I'll buy a piece of land yeah wanani tumia messages wanani how they help me 
hivyo so tukaendelea hivyo wakani encourage it took some time before i because i knew ilikuwa ina ni hit i'll get disappointed i will get it disappointed yani there was no matter what i will be new enough ina kuambia you know i'm so used to disappointment this is another disappointment coming my way yes 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 so ilikuwa ina kusukuma like this is not real uh huh yeah yeah mm-hmm. but nila na wao wanani encourage and um, this girl kind of girl who want to get focused i always want to have something that I'll, will make me be focused nataka ngakukua na kitu inani yani it will motivate me to work hard it will make me more focused mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i ikafika mahali eventually i gave him eventually you gave him the money which year was this again it was uh, end of 2017 end of 2017 now you gave in and started sending money who are you sending the money to at first i was sending to my cousin because we were in good terms mm-hmm. then after vile nilifikisha 200 and something thousand mm-hmm. help broke loose ala Wait, so you started sending money to your cousin. Vila ulifikisha yes. 200k cuz you are in good terms with your cousin na kuna mtoto wako. Yeah. Uh, cousin ni pastor anyway. Mm-hmm. So wakati ulifikisha 200k, Satan akakuja. Uh-huh. Yes. yes. Akakuja sasa na, na, na kila kitu yake yote. Allah, uh-huh. They started they started demanding at I got a text one morning from my cousin. Mhm. Akaniambia mm, Now because you know now you have settled you are mpaka unafikiria about projects we also have our project. And tunataka uko ukitoa 10,000 upkeep ya mtoto you yani uadifike 10,000 upkeep ya mtoto. And I was like no that's a lot of money because I send money na mtoto wangu wako shule from asubuhi to jioni and I even pay for transport. Na kwani ulikuwa una unalipwa pesa ngapi? I'm wondering there are people who are wondering kwani pesa ilikuwa ni ngapi? You know me sikukua kwa contract nilikuwa nimeshatoka kwa contract. Oh ulikuwa umekembo is it what you call kemboy? Yes. So uko unafanya tu kazi hapa na pale. Apana mimi I'm the kind of I'm not that uh, minico yani I got a marabu I lived there she accepted me she took me in akaniambia niache hata kuishi na huko nje I live in her house So you are living rent free at a marabu is it a female or a male a uh, family it's a family oh, it's a family okay yeah uh-huh. so i was the madam loved me and she was okay i can yambia because i used not even to go out there i used to live with her permanently i thought yeah. they could go for vacation and live there at their home that's nice yeah yeah so uko saudi i cannot complain at here nilikuwa na shida no it was back home yeah So vile nilifikisha tu wakaanza kunitisha pesa ti I've settled ni, ni sina stress ya mtoto they have a project at a wow and I should start contributing at niongeze pesa ya upkeep ya mtoto so I was like my baby is young he goes to school from from morning to evening na nakujua na basi na anapelekwa na anarudishwa na basi why should i pay 10000 every month exactly yeah yeah how much were you paying before kwa sasa wamekuongezea sasa ulipe 10k how much it was you like nila nila i didn't have the at the actual amount i was giving them nila sa zingine you can appreciate them you give them that 10000 na mind you hata wako kwa wananisaidia ya pesa you most of the time most of the time at kopesha my cousin the the my cousin dio married to this pastor they are both pastors So my yeah. cousin yo kama niambia ati kopesha bwana yangu pesa hivyo yani every time you send money kuna kuwa na two issue to dogo to dogo so that they could get money you get him paka so they started using you they started yeah. using you yeah. eh kwanza yeah. nikuulize huyo cousin uh, ameolewa na pasta eh, do they have a church 
Ya wanaenda kwa hiyo pasta kwa huyu pasta huyu pasta anaitwa nani? Harrison. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Wanaenda wanaendana kwa pasta Harrison Nganga. Yes. To this yes. day. Yes, they are, they are still to this day. Hey, okay. Wow. But are they pastoring there? Are they do they have any roles in that church? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't even know, but I had the situation. The husband is deacon there. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Can you say Zimeja wa 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 kora, my friend? Kama ni kwa Harrison. Anyway, uh huh. Wow. So, vileni uh, likata. My cousin stopped talking to me. Mm -hmm. So now she anytime she could want anything, yam to wangu she could update this guy. So your you fell apart with your cousin kwa sababu mekata uh, to be manipulated as far as money is concerned. So anytime she needed anything, she would go through Kamonjo guy, the guy yes. you met via Facebook, and an older yes. guy, an old guy. Yes. Uh huh. So she could go through him. So he could update me about him tatawangu ikafika mahali I don't even know about my son Sasa lazima I call to the director of school Rockside Academy utawala you No know, I used to call the I used to call the kuongea na mtoto wangu lazima I would call the school directly Yes Kuzi lifika mahali now there was no access to any information Nani kwa sababu about my son yeah. So na bado ikafika sasa mahali I I couldn't take any more. I told her I texted her ni kama I will take away my son. I want to take away my son at wachane roho safi. Ukamwambia unataka mtoto wako mwachane roho safi. Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, na tukana nikamwambia closing day i want uh, the director of school to foresee mtoto wangu akihandiwa over to a friend sasa mm -hmm. because sasa hata sijuangi if i have to to know about my son i have to call him during the school day yeah so now you decided Kama to hand over the child to another friend sasa a friend Na bado unasikia bado naendelea kulipa project but sasa natumia this man direct from West, direct pesa kwa Western Union not Mpesa again. So now you stop sending your cousin after you send your cousin up to 200,000 you fell apart and, now you started yes. sending Mr. Kamonjo money. Yes. Na ulikuwa unamtumia na Western Union. Yes, I have all the copies. How much were you sending him? Ama ikuwa it just any amount? Around uh, 60, 50, around 70, you know, the villa to now find kazi. You know, it was sacrifice. I work, I am working. They need a part time girl and take that job to be paid that extra money because it so was a this guy amounts of 50,000, 60,000, 7,000, every all that money. money. And it's a man that came into your. DM on Facebook in your D, in your Facebook and you just met on Facebook. Now ukanza yeah. kumtumia pesa za project ya yes. shamba ile yes. walikununulia. Yes. Uwe. Uh huh. Hai. Na bado now acha nikwambie waitimu hata shetani yako kwa ameja sasa acha nikwambie penye alikuja sasa. Sasa shetan hajakuja anakuja sasa. Yes. Uh huh. Dai. Three days za kuchukua mtoto. Uh -huh. My cousin alichukua wa mama. Uh -huh. Took him back to my dad's place. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. So now your child, who was with the cousin who is who is married to this pastor, who goes mm -hmm. to a, to a post, Dr. Harrison Nganga's church a very well respected man and by the way when i'm mentioning dr harrison i'm not blaming this man of god he's one of my favorites and by the way easy makanisa tunayendanga simeja saitan simeja saitan we cannot take it out on pastors kwa sababu kuna saitan huko atakuja kupatikana huyo mtu 
sasa huyo pa cousin on the day ya kuchukua mtoto wametoa mtoto sasa huko wamempeleka kwa baba yao the same father of this girl who was calling this child ATM and don't forget for those of you that are coming in this father had the child before achukuliwe na cousin yake akatumia huyu mtoto kuitisha pesa mpaka akamuita ATM on top of that this young woman alikuwa amenunua building materials cement mchanga mawe na nini ya kujenga baba akachukua material akauza akakunywa pombe pesa ikaisha sasa mtoto amerudishwa huko in the same place kwenye alikuwa anaitwa ATM ah guy well i am so sorry about that wow so I didn't have anyone and you hear she, she was not communicating that day mtoto mm alipelekwa -hmm. nakuru alipelekwa to my parents nakuru I had a bad feeling I woke up feeling bad so you woke I, up feeling very bad about it yes yes mm -hmm. I, I have very strong instinct to watch the same do you hear disappointment so I I yani hiyo ilikuwa imeni and I was expecting it sasa so, so that day i felt very bad na nika nika nikaambia oh chris nikamwambia i'm feeling bad about my son akaniambia na yeye alikuwa wazimu sasa zimeanza mhm akaniambia bayako ni bayako ni kukwa na you, you are so focused on negativity sana and don't be negative you are too negative when you are kid then it's only three days you yeah. yeah i was not set so you just felt you're not at peace and yes. yeah yeah uh -huh. so i called the school wakaniambia mm mtoto -hmm. is not at school wait you called at school and the baby was not in school Yes. Or, but this was on closing day. So walikuwa shut somebody had taken the baby yeah, and after no, busy days before those were busy oh, days, three before. days before closing day yes. mtoto alichukuliwa yes, ndo for letter. Yes. Uh -huh. So the days before I, I I was feeling bad. I was feeling I'm not okay. I I called this guy akaniambia I'm so much into negativity and I couldn't feel yani it was naskia pana there is something that is not okay yeah so i called the school director akaniambia mtoto is not at school guy mtoto is not at school yes and nikamwa nikamongelesha vizuri nikamwambia please find out what's going on because all i know just a day i talked to him and he was okay nitafuteni nini what's going on yeah the director called my cousin mm -hmm. My cousin akasema mtoto ni mgonjo. Mhm. And he will be he will be back at school the following day. Okay. So the I had to wait the following day. I called the following day the kid was not at school. So the school that when our kids were in our cousin yangu wako shule. Wow. So her own kids were in school and to even make matters worse we rimo nilikuwa na mpaka deni ya shule. Uh -huh. which i always pay mimi sijai kuwa na i always pay up front hata kabla shule ifungwe i could clear the the term the next term fees okay na kwa so, ndio unatumia ulikuwa unatumia kazi ni pesa ya shule badala ya kutuma pesa directly to you know the kid sasa walikuwa wameingiza mtoto shule na jina yao not mine oh i see aha uh -huh. Uh-huh. So nikituma pesa they could pay for all kids. Yeah. But nimetuma pesa ya fees ya ya mtoto wangu. Lakini wanalipia watoto wao. Wanalipa ikiwa pamoja mpaka watoto wao. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. So I came to realize the your time I was calling the director and I said, "Hey, you know what? Uko na deni ya 25,000 at school." director akakwambia uko na 25000 in school then ebuka yes. vizuri hivi umeinama yeah yes. okay so yeah. good yeah aha uh aha -huh. uh -huh. so i had to go back to my pocket and clear the, the den uka clear your den 
Yes. Okay. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it the following day. I'm going to do it the following day. Okay. So, to Kangodea, the, 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 that day, the closing day, we waited. They bring the kid. I work with him to the school. Yeah. So I called this Chris Akasema, and he was the one of the person to see my baby Akipatiama. Yeah. But you know what? Akasema yeye ni mgonjwa. Akapia na ni mgonjwa wa amam yeye amam toto. Yeah, yeah, he cannot go to, he cannot attend. Okay. When I'm total keep at Uh huh. So the my best friend waited for the kid. Wakiwa na na director hadisa sita. Mtoto wa kule tu ashule. Uh huh. Ikakuwa I was calling my cousin, ananieka kwa radio. Mm -hmm. As in, she could pick my call, but Naskia radio in the background. She was not mm -hmm. talking. Jenny, she was just there. Okay, Kafika mm -hmm. Mari, after Kitu Sasita Nalini to me a picture, Akanyambia, you go, you end up to go to Toko Mbaya, Kondi Bako, Tuli Mpele Kauko. Sasa mekuambia mtoto amepelekea Baba Yako. She sent me pictures mm -hmm. on WhatsApp. On WhatsApp. Yes. And told me you can go pick your kid at your father's place. Okay. Well, Sasa, my father, Walienda Wakam Koroga Akili. And you know, last Nikito, you can go to the end to go to Memweba. Okay. So, Abushitan Sasa Akakuja Sasa. Sasa Shitango Akakuja Tena. No, it was that's a full post. Mtoto wa mepele kwa na kwa baba angu. Mtoto wa mepele kia wa baba angu. Yes, he did not close school. Yani ni kama liachishwa shule. Ni kona madeni, ni mekili ya madeni shule. Now I was trying to call my father. He could not. You are trying now to call your dad. Yes. He could not pick my calls. So I your, text your... Uh -huh. I could not reply my messages. Mm -hmm. Waimo for six months is you jump to For six months you did not know where your child is because your father was not responding to calls or to messages. Yes, because what my cousin had gone and they <laughs> told him wakaenda wakamkoroga wakaongeza chumvi zao tikazi yangu ni kuzuri la Saudi Arabia picha mingi sana. Yeah. Acha sisaidie huyu mtu ato. Kazi yangu ni kuzuri la. Situmani. So wanyenda tu wakaweka baba yako uchawi kwa kichwa. Ati kazi yako yeah. ni kuzuri la Saudi. You don't even help your child and of yeah. course your dad believed it. <laughs> No, I don't know. Sasa, wezimo ilikuwa struggle. I used to cry mbaka the my boss ananuliza how he could help hama uvile wanaeza nisa idea. Then this Chris guy used to abuse me. Na bado uliko unamtumia pesa because for those of you who don't know. I have a project. You have a project. I have to finish it. Niki mambia, I want to watch a kazi ni rudi Kenya. Wana niambia apana, they help me get my son back. But in the middle of the day, but I'm told there was so much that was going on. Because my son is the only thing that keeps me alive. Konge tu kweli, my son is the only one that keeps me alive. Yeah. So, six months, it was... The worst time of my life. So wait, so six months, you don't know where you're, uh, uh, you've not spoken to your child. You know that the child is with your father, who is the grandfather. Uh, there's yeah. no communication. But are you, you're still sending money because you have a project at home. You're still sending money to Chris, the Facebook guy. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. 
So nasiku kwa na mtu. That is the only way that I was trying to reach my son. Yeah, through him. Yes. Na yeye amekuwa kama shetani. He now he knew there was no one who was on my side. Yeah, so he's going to take advantage, man. Yeah. Kwa akaniambia if they will help me get my son but they'll have to file a case. Yeah. What a fail. Now I was desperate sasa hakuna kitu singefanya to get my son back. Yeah, yeah. So nikaanza kuambiwa toa pesa ya lawyer, nikatoa pesa ya lawyer, nikatoa pesa ya sijui ya ku open file. Uh-huh. I could pay for ya every time na sikati kuna. Ya nini na koroboa kitu? I was I was even like going mad na sema ni taacha kazi na mbuni siache kazi. The guy was even claiming that he would pay 300,000 to be my child's guardian which I refused. Kai So what are the coolies as well? Kwani hakuna mtu au ungefikiria kutuma hata rafiki yako aende kwenu aibe huyo mtoto kutoka kwa baba yako? Nao mtoto alikuwa ameshafichwa. Alikuwa ameshafichwa. Yes. So the child was not even with your father. You don't know where the child is. Yes. But nobody knew where he was. Not even where the child was. There's nobody. At a family, nobody knew where my dad has taken my kid. Kai. <laughs> wow. It can happen over the whole day. Sasa, watoto wamesha fungua shule that time. Mm-hmm. No. Watoto wamesha fungua shule. I sent a friend. Nikamwambia, please call my dad ujifanya mzuri because my dad was not picking my calls. Please call my call my my dad jifonyo nataka kuongea na Elvis then we get information from that now this guy now the other guy was pushing me ni mlipe 300,000 and fuatilie kesi na if i don't have 300,000 ataacha nisha hiyo kesi ni deal na mambo zangu he just want money from me he was he wanted money from me He just wanted money from you nothing else. Yeah, every time was money money money. But my ikwena in Africa mahali I've I've sent everything paka pads I could buy myself. Oh my god. Just because of your child. Yes, I'm fighting for my child. Na bado unasikia niko na ati na hiyo kesi inaendelea na niko na project that I'm doing and I want to do both them. And if nikiacha project this guy was telling me once you may drop your project you will not get your money back. Okay, okay. Now, now let's do this. This is a very long story. I want us to come back tomorrow to Malize Ichai kwa sababu this is too much and I have to step out. I have to go. But let's make another date tomorrow to endelea na hii maneno.